So you may notice that my backdrop's a little bit different from previous videos, and that's because I've moved out of my old condo and finally moved into a villa. The reason I decided to do this is for the past two months, Thailand's had a bit of a COVID outbreak and they've been going absolutely mad with restrictions. Swimming pools and gyms were closed for about a month and a half and they've only just reopened beaches. Basically due to Thailand being absolutely useless with the whole vaccine thing, I don't really see things getting better anytime soon. So I decided that for my freedom and sanity, it would be best for me to get a villa right now so I can have my own swimming pool and have my own space to exercise if gyms just remain closed. So with all that said, this is what $2,150 per month will get you right now in Thailand. So for the entrance of the house we've got this big giant sliding carport area. This room here is the maid's room. I don't have a maid but if I wanted one, this is where the maid would stay. Just use like a bit of a storage room for now. And also to do the laundry. Walk through here. And as you can see, lots of nature, beautiful trees, lots of plants. Big giant front door. Although I usually just come in from the side like this. This is my favorite part of the house. Nice lounging chairs got fountains that appear so here in the swimming pool I've got a nice step that I can kind of sit on and lay down if I press the button these jets turn on it's like a jacuzzi love this fountain here beautiful it just comes on automatically I don't know if there's a way I can set it yet Another water feature here. Leads into the pool. Outdoor seating area if I want to relax. More cool trees. Lots of sunlight. It's the whole area outside of my villa as well. It's really nice. Trees and nature everywhere the side of my house. And these doors here open up into my office. This is the view from my office. I've never had a view like that before whilst working. It's a really big space and I love the backdrop behind my chair. I've ordered a standing Muay Thai bag to put here so I can kind of do some workouts in my office whilst I'm taking breaks. My office also has its own toilet and shower. Mirror. To be honest, I've never used the shower though. Behind each of these curtains, there's a window. So, could open those if I wanted as well. To go back outside again, next to the pool, we've got this swinging chair, very nice to relax in. I like to sit here with a coffee at night time, looking out onto the pool, having a think. Outside dining table with a view. I might actually use this table sometime to make videos. I can definitely use this table to record some vlog content in the future. Love that backdrop. Entering the house, take our shoes off here. Shoe cabinet. Coming into the living room, all of these curtains open and there's like double doors and stuff. Nice couch, very comfortable. Got this footrest thing here. This house was fully furnished, by the way. The only stuff that was mine when I moved in was the computers, TVs, and desks. So, most of it fully furnished. View from my living room whilst watching TV. Over there we've got a mini bar. Fan. Nice view outside. Got like marble floors. Girlfriend playing some Stardew Valley. Here's the mini bar. I'm not much of a drinker though, so I'll probably never use it. Have the occasional wine, I guess. Moving on into the dining room. 
nice mahogany table, big mirror, this giant centerpiece here in the living room. If I press this light switch, this thing actually turns on. Looks absolutely gorgeous at night time. Open up this door, we have another bathroom. Oh, this one's just a toilet and a sink. Moving on into the kitchen. It's almost like a cottage or Spanish style kitchen. Very rustic, I like it a lot. Lots of storage space in the cupboards. Came with a really nice, good sized fridge freezer. And I finally discovered the glory of filtered coffee. Before I was just lazy and would buy granulated coffee. But I don't think I could go back to that now. I love the patterns on the doors. Apparently this is a cross between Thai style and Bali style. From the dining room, we've got this outdoor area here, which I primarily use for washing. I could probably tidy this area up a little bit. I could even have a pool table here if I wanted. Walking out here, we've got some plants. Nice little Buddha artwork. Path that goes around the house with more plants. There's just plants everywhere. Now luckily, gardening and pool maintenance is included in the $2,150 per month rental fee. So that's good. Moving on into the bedroom. Very big space. Lots of wardrobe space. And behind all of these curtains, you've got windows to see outside. Behind these curtains, there's a slide door to go directly out into the garden. And this is the ensuite to the bedroom. Sink, mirror, toilet, shower, very big shower. That's all there is to it, really. Let's take a trip upstairs. So I've also got this nice decoration here by the stairs. It's like a plant pot and some stones. If I wanted to have a house turtle, this is where he would live. There's a light switch here that turns on the lighting around that. Looks very beautiful at night time. Buddha picture. Big, giant window as you're walking up the stairs. So upstairs we've got the guest room. And I hardly ever come up here because the house is just big enough downstairs for me. But if my dad wanted to come and visit me in Thailand, this is where he would stay. So the guest bedroom has plenty of wardrobe space. Decent sized bed, it's got a desk, it's got a sink, and we walk through here. It's got, it's got a toilet and a shower, as well as a very big window that also opens. It's also got aircon and a fan. Take a look at the view from out here. Very nice. Lots of trees, lots of nature. That's what you want to see, isn't it? So that's pretty much everything. This is by far the biggest house I've ever lived in. And there's no way I could get something this big or this good value for money in England or America. I hope you guys enjoyed the villa tour. This video in no way was meant to be a flex. The whole purpose of me making it was to make those of you that have the means of working remotely aware of what you can get for your money elsewhere. Just to put things into context, for this villa I'm paying 65,000 baht per month, which is $2,092 or £1,478. And that also includes pool maintenance and gardening. For that price, I think the best you can get in places like London, Los Angeles, San Francisco, Amsterdam is probably a two bedroom apartment. The cost of living to quality of life ratio is just really good in this part of the world and taxes are also a lot cheaper, so that's a bonus too. Two years ago when I first started researching cost of living in Southeast Asia, when I saw what I could get for my money, I was just sold and I haven't really looked back since. Two other countries other than Thailand that I was potentially looking at moving to was Vietnam and Malaysia. Both of those countries also has very good quality of life to cost of living ratios. So if you don't like the idea of Thailand, then 
That's two other very good options. But that's it for this video, guys. If you work remotely and you've improved your quality of life to cost of living ratio from moving overseas, I'd love to hear your story in the comments below. Social media links on screen, give me a follow. Thanks for watching. I hope you all had a successful day and I'll see you again really soon.